is Captain Mike with a, what I hope is going to be a really short video on uh, a trick you can use with uh, boron nitrate and one of your slumping molds. Uh, this little girl right here is about uh, 7 by 7 I think. And uh, yeah, she's 7 by 7. And uh, when you spray regular boron nitrate on her to keep the glass from sticking, uh, you can't hardly tell if you missed any places. The boron nitrate's a brilliant white, just like the ceramic. And what you get is, you know, one of these little girls right here on a piece of glass when she slumped. Uh, so I fired this one, uh, well, actually I took it off this morning, and uh, so my problem is I don't know whether I've got any spots because the boron nitrate comes off on the glass sometimes, and if you've got a spot to come off on your second firing, well, you got an issue. Now the boron nitride I use is this right here, and uh, made by a different couple of people. The most important thing is boron nitrate. Now I call these people and ask them if what I'm fixing to tell you about was okay to do. I said, is there some way I can color this stuff so I can see it when I spray it on? I spray it with an airbrush. They said, yeah, not a problem. Use uh, water uh, uh, soluble stuff. So I use. This, this is just some uh, stuff I use in some soap. It's water soluble and it happens to be fuchsia. You can use any color you want. Now, this is going to be quick. I've got this airbrush that uh, I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, they're really cheap. This one's about to quit working. Not a problem. They cost less than 10 bucks, I think. Uh, if I can't get this one working, I'll get another one. So, I'm just going to show you real quick. Hopefully, this color will show up in the, in the video. But you don't have to use as much because uh, as you spray it, in this case, it turns a very light fuchsia. And especially you can see when you get these edges down here on the, on the, on the very edge. Cause that's where if you happen, if your glass happens to uh, stick on or slide on you while it's in the oven, it will uh, lap over the edge. And of course you can hold it straight up and go straight down. But you can see I've only made about two passes here got a lovely, lovely fuchsia color. If you're into blue, that's fine. If you're into red, yellow, hey, do whatever you want to do. I feel that I'm using less boron nitrite, and that stuff's expensive. Uh, I, I, you can thin it a little bit. You'll have to experiment on something that doesn't count. See how far you can uh, thin that stuff and spray it on. But that's it. It dries, especially when it's warm. It dries almost immediately. Now, it's Cold and windy here in Georgia again. Yesterday it was 70 degrees. This morning it was 30. Uh, where you live, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. But that's it. That's really about all I've got to say about that. That lady is prepped and she is ready to fire. I'll put her in the kiln this afternoon with some more. And that's it. Now, one last thing. Uh, that fuchsia color will fade. When it fires, it goes back to white. So if you just wanted to put it on every time, you could do that. Uh, you just clean the old boron nitrate off with a brush and spray it over again. But anyway, hopefully that's a trick that you can use when you are spraying your uh, molds with boron nitrate. Really appreciate y'all watching this thing. I hope that it was useful. If it is, look at my other videos and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.